Hi, I am Taylor of Taylor Lim Crochet, and today I am going to be comparing the Addy Express King Size and this off brand children's knitting machine. So, for all of you who are watching who already read my blog post about how much I love my Addy and you purchased an Addy, do not worry, I'm not going to tell you, oh, shit about this other machine. Uh, Addies are by far the most superior machine for knitting on the market in my opinion. So do not worry about that. The Addy is going to last you years and years and years. You're going to have little to no issues with them compared to this uh, off-brand machine I am going to show you. So when you get this item, it comes in this box. It has a small child on the front. It shows her wearing a hat with fuzzy yarn. Uh, this is the back. It does come with three little balls of yarn. Mine were a bright pink, a purple, and like a tan color. And they're not really big enough. I guess all three of them combined can make a project. Uh, I'm just going to donate that yarn or I don't, maybe I'll find a use for it, but I'll probably donate that yarn. It doesn't, it's not very high quality and it's not really for me. So when you get your machine, this is what it will look like. Uh, you have to attach the legs. You pop them in. There's a little screw on the bottom that you have to put in, but they do provide you with the mini screwdriver for it and the screws, which is nice. And then there's these little suction cup uh, parts right here that you slide in. I'll be honest, I struggled getting them to slide into these little holders, but like once they're in there, they're staying. So it did take a lot of force on my part. My boyfriend wasn't home at the time, so he couldn't have helped me, but that probably would have been a lot easier for me had he been. This yarn guide right here, you can pop in. So this would be something that would hold the, hold the yarn for you. Instead of when you guys watch me do my Addy videos, you'll see with my left hand, I'm holding the yarn and the right hand I'm cranking. This negates that. I did not try and do any items without holding with holding the yarn I did it through this yarn guide and kept the yarn loose on the floor I just kept pulling it out of the skein as I went along so that there was never tension from the skein um and it per uh gave me pretty consistent results I did not have any dropped stitches or any missed stitches which I hear is often an issue when you buy a toy knitting machine or an off-brand than an Addy there tend to be a lot of dropped and missed stitches so as far as stitching goes this machine worked great one thing to know is that there is a size difference this machine I believe has less teeth than the Addy does so it would be less stitches knitted and when this is the headband you guys see me make on my last Addy tutorial and I made one on this machine and I used the same amount of rows and everything else and I used the yarn guide so you can see when I put these on top of each other that the Addy machine created a taller piece than the off-brand machine and the Addy produced a looser stitch than this one this th these stitches over here are just a little bit looser than these ones are a little bit denser but that probably could have everything to do with how much tension I use I give very little tension on my Addy machine using a little bit more tension could and decrease the width of these a little bit but not by much and like I said on this one I used this little yarn guide you can see that this hole is bigger that one's like a medium size that one's smaller so I put it in the middle hole to give it medium tension and I use Karen Simply Soft just like I use for my regular Addy machine and the Karen Sim Simply Soft worked great I haven't tried any other yarns on this machine so I do not know how it's going to interact with other yarns but if you use Karen Simply Soft a lot like I do this will work great for that so about the quality of the machine it turns differently you can feel the friction on the machine I don't know if it needs oil if you can put oil on these I think Addy might actually sell oil for their machines but it's it doesn't feel as nice when you turn it it's the only way I can describe it um, it kind of feels almost like the plastic is rubbing against each other 
Um, but it's sound wise, it's a lot quieter than the Addy. The Addy uh, has a different turn quality. The Addy turns a lot easier, so it's a lot less work on your arm than that machine would be. Um, I also like the Addy has a bigger handle and the other one has just a small little round knob on the end. And so that one you're like this with your fingers and this one you can use your whole hand and turn it. And this one, it's a little bit smoother than the other one is. So, the other big difference between this and the Addy is the fact that this is not have a row counter. So, I know a lot of people I see on, who do tutorials on Addies online say that like, oh, it doesn't have a row counter, but it's not a big deal for me. Not having a row counter is kind of a big deal for me. Uh, I do a lot of my projects based on how many rows are done, and I don't want to sit there and have to count every five rows what my how many rows I have I know you could count every time that the different colored um, little tooth came up and that would be big oh seeing the white one row one seeing the white one row two but the difference again on the Addy between this one is that this one only has one white tooth to denote the first uh, spot while the Addy has three black teeth and all the rest of the teeth are white. So there's three teeth. So that means if you glance away and glance back for a second, that you would have a chance to see three teeth of a different color to know that that is a new row. On this one, I found myself kind of like off in La La Land and I'd look back and be like, oh shoot, did that one go by or did it not? And then I'd have to count all my stitches again or just say, well, I'll, I think that was about one and say that it was good. So that's something to consider. Not having a row counter is definitely not for me. But I have heard that because the Addy machines have a digital row counter, that the static electricity from you cranking your machine can some kind, sometimes cause them to not give you the correct number. It can cause them to jump around, to skip numbers. So that's something to keep your eye on when you're using your Addy machine. I have not had any issues with the counter on my big Addy machine, but my mom was using a fuzzier yarn on the Addy Professional and said that the counter was skipping on her. So that is definitely something to keep in mind as well. But Addy has corrected this problem and re released their newer Addy machines with an updated counter. You can get them with a digital counter or this little analog like counter and it's kind of like the little stitch markers that you crank the little wheel and then the new number comes up. And those are just a lot more accurate. They look older, like they're an older style, but for accuracy's sake, they work great. So if you are in the market for a new Addy, I would definitely suggest going with that one versus the one with the digital one. But like I said, I have had no issues with mine. I like the digital one. I've not had to replace the batteries. I've had this for probably almost a year, maybe l less than a year, but have had no issues with it. So that's something to keep in mind as well. And this one does do flat panels and circular knitting just like the Addy machine does, but I I don't know what this T and P means. Um, on Addy it says circular and flat, I believe. So I'm not sure, but the T is circular. I have not tried the, the flat panels on this machine yet. I don't think I'll be using it for flat panels. It just doesn't turn as nicely as my Addy does. But it does have the option. I do know that the switch was the other way when I got it. And flipping it up took a lot of force. So I'm like, am I breaking this? Is this going to work okay? So something to keep your eye on. I did notice that my box looked like it had already been opened when I got it. And, I, and you can see right here how it's bent. I did not bend the box like that. And this seam right here where it was glued on was already unglued so someone had opened my box and I don't know if that's like a customs thing maybe or if that's like the seller that I got it from I will give you guys a link to the one I bought but I will also um I, I'll just do my Amazon list and I'll put the one that I bought and I will put a little note on the one that I bought and then I also will show you some other options but I did notice some other people who got this machine said that two or three people had said that their boxes looked like they were open as well um but my machine did not have any defaults it did not look it has a little mark right here i don't know if you guys can see that 
and it looks like a marker or something like that but besides that it didn't appear to be used in any other way and it didn't drop any stitches so a lot of people who said their boxes were open were having troubles with dropping stitches and it very well could have been the yarn they were using or the fact that they were using the wrong sized hole on the yarn guide or they weren't using the yarn guide at all so those are all things to keep in mind um obviously if you you might get a defective machine from any seller that you buy from on amazon and at that point you'd want to contact them and send it back but i think overall this is a great machine for people just starting out i don't think it's a long-term machine so like i said this gave me two different sized headbands which a lot of people were saying that the addy machine the headbands were a little bit wider than they would like i think if you hold your tension tighter it would give you a little bit uh of a less wide headband but you can always um i'm just going to show you guys because people have asked me when you put these on you can always fold under the sides a little bit and fold them under in the back and then that will make the back just a little less wide for all of you who are wondering how i wear them i wear them over my hair just like this i pull a little bit of hair forward when I'm wearing it with my hair down, if I'm wearing it with my hair up, I'd obviously pull all my hair up and then slide the headband down like so and then go up. Uh, I don't, I mean, you can wear it with your hair down like this, but with that band in the back, it's kind of a pain. But if you don't mind that being scrunched up back there, it's not bad. With the off-brand knitting machine, this headband is definitely tighter, so you'd need to do a few more rows. But I have a small head. I have like a between a teen and an adult sized head, so this headband actually fits me perfectly. But this one's a little bit less thick. The band on the back is smaller. So that's just something to keep in mind. If you wanted to just make headbands and not adult sized hats, this machine will be perfect. Because this machine has less teeth than the Addy does, it has less stitches in a round, which means that your projects made with this will be smaller than on the Addy. So that being said, if you make children's items, children's hats, children's wear or whatever, this is a great machine for that. That's one of the reasons that I was kind of willing to spend more money on another machine that I knew wasn't going to be as good of quality as my Addy is because I heard that this is perfect for children's sizes. Do I know if this is going to last me through one whole season of market prep? No, but it was only $50. So if I can get $50 worth of profits made from it, then I've got my money back. So I think that I'm going to use this and make some children's hats for my markets because I had a lot of people ask for my bonfire beanies and ask for them in children's sizes, which I did not have. So because the Addy, you cannot, you could pull your tension tighter and try and make a tighter stitched hat, but for the most part, that's a little bit difficult. So I think that this is great for making children's items. It's great if you want to just make the adult sized headbands or teen sized headbands with this machine. Um, those are definitely two projects you can do. My bonfire beanie project would work on this, but you would have to do less rows because children's heads are not as long as adults' heads. So that's also something to keep in mind. Um, the quality of this is just less. Uh, this one gets stuck right around the same point every time, and I don't know why. So if you have an Addy, you're all set. You don't definitely don't need to buy this. If you want to make children's items with it or less uh, wide headbands, you definitely can, but you do not need to. I will still be using my Addy for 99% of my projects. Like I said, I'll be using this for children's stuff and then maybe do a few of the lesser wide headbands just because some people requested them. But I mean, I like the wider ones actually and how they fit. So overall, Addy, far superior, better. Um, this one did not come with the needle. The Addy comes with this little yarn needle. Mine's a little beat up, but it comes with the yarn needle. The other one did not. It does not even have a place. Addy has a little hole in their machine where you can set yours. So that's something to keep in mind. It did come with a little crochet hook. I don't think you could actually crochet with it, but you could use it to pick up drop stitches. 
but overall if you're just looking to dip your feet into the knitting machine world I think that this is a great alternative like I said I will link them on the list below and if you liked this video give it a thumbs up if you want to see more Addy tutorials or any crochet tutorials that I do on my blog then definitely subscribe to this channel and I hope that this helped you guys who were indecisive about if you wanted to commit to an Addy or not and this will give you an option to try it out before committing to such a large purchase. So thank you so much and I will see you next time.